Hi, I'm Bobak Ferdosi, Flight Director on the Mars Science Lab Curiosity Mission, and I'm back with another rover report. This past week on Mars, we did the SAM atmospheric sample, which is basically like taking a deep breath on Mars and smelling for chemicals. We also did a drive, uh, the beginning of our road trip, basically. Along the drive, you'll see our tracks on Mars, and within the tracks, you'll see a series of dots and dashes. Those are actually Morse code on the wheels. The Morse code spells out JPL, but in reality, it's a very important way for us to measure how far we're driving each day. We know how many cycles or how many rotations the wheel makes, but seeing the confirmation on the ground of each rotation helps us to analyze the soil and understand if we're slipping or not. In fact, you can see on the side of my head, I've got the Morse code shaved in. We also took a MassCam 100 panorama, that's the 100 millimeter MassCam camera on the rover, of Mount Sharp and its buttes, and you can see all the beauty of Mount Sharp in that. Hello, this is Charlie Bolden, NASA Administrator, speaking to you via the broadcast capabilities of the Curiosity rover. Which is now we also had two firsts on Mars this week. First, we played back an audio file from Administrator Charlie Bolden, congratulating the team. That was the first time an audio file has been played back from Mars. Roll the song, here we go. And second on Tuesday, we played back the Will I Am song Reach for the Stars, meant to inspire kids, and that's the first time a song has been ever been back from Mars. Coming up for the rover, we'll be driving towards Glen Elg. That's where we actually see three different types of science materials. And the scientists are really excited to get there. Uh, along the way, though, you'll see several interesting things. We'll be doing ChemCam targets of rocks and all the exciting things that we're really looking forward to. That's been your Curiosity Update. Check back for more reports. <laughs>